Hi, welcome to Lunalogic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a weekly reading for this week in June 2021 for Libra. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus. Please keep in mind everything is subject to free will, your free will, and anyone you are energetically connected to currently in the past or in the future. Also, please keep in mind everything is subject to divine free will. Um, no one is free from the law of cause and effect. This may not be your story, so please only take what resonates. Leave the rest. Do not try to make it fit. Roles can be reversed. Doesn't matter gender, gender identity, preferences, orientation. Okay? And don't forget to check out the placements. Okay. okay so can you please show me what's going on for Libra this week, please? What's going on for Libra this week? Show me what's going on for Libra. Okay, two of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Aries. Show me Libras, please. Show me Libra. The sun in the reverse. Leo energy. Show me Libras, please. Show me Libras, please. There you are. Justice. That is your energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. So there's something you haven't cut out of your life yet, but I feel like you're on the verge to. But also, there is a lie here. I'm going to take it. Okay. Behind that, we have the Chariot in the reverse. So be careful with driving. Um, also, there's no movement right now. So I'm going to take this. Okay. So let's see. So you have a decision to make. You, I feel like you want to make a fair decision. You have a choice uh, about which path to take. And I feel like the divine is trying to show you which path. So pay attention to that. Um, it's something you're not seeing as well. And it might be deceptive. Either there's something that you haven't cut out that's making you very, very unhappy. But you feel it feels like you want to do it in a just manner. You want to do it right. All right, we're going to look at this, though. Let's see. Hold on. All right. Why is the Two of Wands, uh, two of wands here, please? Um, you could also be dealing with another Libra. Gemini, another Libra. Aquarius. Aries. I think I said Sagittarius, Leo, but strong. Aries, Leo. Okay. Um, there's something. Uh, a Leo might have lied to you, or there's a hidden lie as well. Show me the Two of Wands, please. You have the servant, and you have service. So, you're tr again, you're trying to be, you're trying your best not to be used by somebody. Meanwhile, someone else, male or female, doesn't matter, is also trying to do the same thing. You guys are both on guard, and you guys are both being dishonest with each other and yourselves. Okay? Show me the sun reverse, what's being hidden here. There's also a lot of unhappiness. Okay, someone might be consulting the divine here or even a priest or or the Bible. Someone might, um, I don't know why I'm getting this. Someone may not want to tell you that they're a Christian for whatever reason. Doesn't matter your religious beliefs, okay? You can believe whatever you like. But someone might be going back to church and they're trying to consult you. This could be you, even you. Trying to consult the divine about what it is that's going on with them. Someone also might be reading the Bible, trying to like figure out like what is going on. Why they're unhappy. Or they might just be hiding the fact that they... Someone also might be Catholic and going to confession. And talking about this situation between you guys, possibly. Let me get some more on that. What are we consulting about? Show me the, con consulta uh, the, the, con um, the consultant. Over pride. Someone might be, somebody might be praying for what they want, but it's, but it's out of pride. Why is the priest here? Hope. Okay, someone is trying. Okay, someone again. Someone might be reading the Bible or going to church or whatever it is. This is just someone who is um, spiritual. So someone here might be consulting someone about either a religious belief here to gain some type of hope. 
or someone here might be rejecting faith of any kind due to pride. Okay. Um, also, okay, I don't know, that's a strange message. Um, but this is like false hope. Someone believes or feels that faith of any kind, no matter what it is that you believe, it's, someone might be very atheist and they feel like they, that religion or that doesn't have to be religion. It can be just any spirituality or religious, not not even religious. I mean, it could be religion, um, but anything spiritual gives people false hope. Um, but this is coming from someone's pride and their lack of faith in anything spiritual, which no judgment if you're an atheist. Um, but somebody here might be an atheist or they might just reject any form of spirituality or faith of any kind because of their pride and ego here but i also get when going gets tough they do pray so it might just be a show a front also someone might be giving you false hope about coming together fairly what is the lie? Show me the Ace of Swords reverse. What is, let me just see the Ace of Swords reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords here in reverse? What is the lie? Someone's lying about their depression or their sadness or lack of false hope or, yeah. Someone, it puts, okay, someone here lies about the, how sad they actually are and they put on a, a happy face. Somebody here, um, someone laughs at their own sadness. Libra, I feel like this is you. All right, show me the melancholy, please. Faithfulness. Someone's sad about faithfulness. Someone's sad that someone isn't faithful. Or they're sad over someone remaining faithful to somebody else. And somebody here at one point thought that you guys, you thought, okay, or your person thought, I feel like it's you, you thought that you guys were the same, being of service to one another. But in reality, both of you were only ever serving yourself. Now you have a choice to make. But you're making a, trying to make a choice out of um, pride and false hope. Also a little bit of denial. Um, you're trying to cons consult the divine or spiritual people or spiritual, maybe watching tarot, getting tarot readings or what have you. Um, by multiple people because you want somebody to give you the right answer instead of the truthful answer here. Um, you're sad that somebody is remaining faithful to somebody else or going back to someone else, but you're putting, you're, you're showing a face here that you're fine with it, but you're lying about how you feel. Show me cheerfulness, please. Thoughts. Yeah. In your thoughts, you're thinking that this, that this person is going to move on. They're going to remain faithful to their person, their partner, whatever it is, and that they're just going to be happy. And they, you just got used. And I have to be honest here. That's what it feels like you did get used. You guys were not the same. This person didn't look at you. You guys both have intrinsic value, but this person didn't see yours clearly. And clearly if they were doing this to you um, or, or somebody else, and they, of course they were going to do this to you. So you want things to be fair and just, though. You want justice here. You're trying to call in karma. You can't. You have to let that. You have to let the divine do that. This can also talk about your... You're praying to the divine to bring, you're hoping for karma to be served here. You're literally out of your ego being wounded and bruised. You're literally praying out to the divine and hoping for someone to get their karma. They will get their karma. It's just their, you know, law of cause and effect here. You just, you won't be a part of that. That's not your business nor your place. All right, show me justice, please. Yeah, gift. You want this. To, you want to be gifted to be able to see someone else get their karma. But I feel like here you might make the big mistake of trying to deliver that yourself when you are not karma. Maybe you get to see it. Maybe. Maybe you get to hear about it. Maybe. But chances of that is very slim. Nevertheless, it's not your place to to try to administer karma. You're just only going to keep yourself. In that karmic loop. Because now this person has to owe you. 
some type of karma. So I would, you know, let that go. You want things to be fair, though, and just, and they're not right now. Uh, you want the gift of a new beginning, but you want, you want it with someone here. But you also, you want, you feel like you can't have the gift of a new beginning until someone does get their karma. So you're willing to go as far as to make sure that they get it. Um, I don't recommend that. Obviously, this is your life, your choice, your decision. Nevertheless, I wouldn't. Okay, let's see. What else about this? What any potential? What's the potential outcome, please, for this reading? You're again. You're wishing. You're wishing that this person gets their karma. Yep, time. You're just waiting. You're wishing for time with this person, or you're just you're wishing for someone to get their karma, and you're just waiting. It's a matter of time. You need to move on with your life, Libra. Libra, you, you need to move on with your life and let this be. This isn't your place. This isn't your 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 um your right. Okay, if you have to take somebody to court for over legal matters for to get money or gifts for a child, that's different. Because you do have to do this in the right way to make sure what's fair and is done right for a child. But if that has nothing to do with children, if you don't have children or you don't, you know, you don't have any children, okay, then you're wishing and hoping that you would get the gift of a new beginning, but only after you get to witness someone or only after someone else gets their karma. So you're wishing for more time to be able to witness this, this person getting it or you're wishing for time to hurry up. It's in divine timing, not in yours. And you won't get to see if you keep pushing this, you're going to get, you're going to propel this person forward and you're the one who's going to get it versus them. So I, if I were you, I'd let it go. Anything else, please? Yeah. You hoping that they, it comes out publicly. Yeah. You want, you want something to be public. You want someone to get their karmic publicly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I let it go. You need to let it go. If you don't let it go. You yourself are going to get karma. Yes, someone lied to you. Yes, someone um, wants to remain faithful to somebody or something, okay? Yes, they are not happy, but you're thinking that they are, and it's making you very depressed. No, this person had no intentions of coming towards you. No, this person, um, you just, you're doing all of this out of ego. You're not letting the divine do its job. You're trying to do the, do the job for the divine, and that's, hey, that's your choice. You have a choice there, but I'm going to let you know. i got to give you the warning here. Bad idea. Bad idea bad idea you're gonna you're gonna end up pushing this person forward and they're gonna have a great life meanwhile you're gonna be stuck and you're gonna be receiving karma for for pushing it okay like cause and effect here and if you were a third party to someone else's connection trust and believe you're gonna get your your karma as well nobody is free from the law of cause and effect which is karma period and it's not in our timing it's in the divine's timing. We get no more, no less than what we've given to others. Good, bad, indifferent, everything in between. And it's not, it's also based on our intentions of our heart. Is what we, what our intentions were meant by. Okay. Yeah, communication. You're wishing for a communication or change of communication. Transformation, trust in psychic gifts. Yeah, you're you're you, somebody here's watching way too much tarot, getting too much too many tarot readings on the same person on the same subject from multiple people. If if this is your story, I don't want a reading from you. I don't want to read for you. If this is this particular Libra reading, because I feel like this is a, a very specific message. If this is your Libra reading for you, Libra, I'm talking to you. If this is your story verbatim just about i don't want to read for you because it feels like you've gotten multiple readings about the same scenario hoping to get a different outcome and trying to force karma here you're you're psychically stalking and psychically spying trying to use psychics or psychic mediums or tarot reading in order to spy on this person you you you're you're making your you're becoming obsessed here and it's very codependent and toxic and you let it go anything else please I recommend taking a break. Eagle, spirit, integrity, connection to the... Yeah, yeah, yep. The raven, magic, coincidence, secret... Yeah, here's a warning here. Here's a warning. 
this divine is saying you need to stop if you don't we're going to bring um you know bring it we're going to teach you a lesson here let it go move on you're trying to psychically spy on someone else's connection that you are no longer connected to um because you're hurt, which is understandably that you're hurt. Nevertheless, you gotta let it. You eventually, you have to let it go and move on because this person doesn't want you. Okay. All right. I don't know who this is for, but if this is for you, the per, whomever's watching, if this is your reading. You might want to stop now because the divine is telling you, pay attention because you're about to get you know a little, little popped on the hand here, because you need to stop. Okay. Um, obviously, no judgment towards you. Wish you all the best. Um, okay. I'm not even going to say if you want to. I'm just going to put. I'm not even going to put it in this one. So, um, okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit all notifications. That way you know the next time I upload. All right. Talk to you later. Take care of yourself. Bye.